What's up, Africa Bastards? Dan Sperry here in Monterey, Mexico. You can see outside my hotel room window right there. That's uh, some other hotel, I think. But their accommodations kind of suck because they're not done building it yet. I don't even know if that's open over there. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just how it looks because it's not <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's my hotel room. Kind of whatever. Look at that. Fell asleep on that couch last night. It's purple. It's very comfortable. A little Ottoman thing going on there. Pretty cool. Um, I'm on tour with the Illusionists right now here in uh, in Mexico. We were in Mexico City last week. We sold 41,250 tickets and made over two million dollars in eight days, which makes this the biggest magic show in the world. It was pretty awesome. Quite an honor to be featured in the Illusionists. Right now we are in Monterey, then we're going to Guadalajara, then we take a little break, then we go down to South America. And uh, it's really cool. So if you're in the area, even if you're not in the area, you should get on a plane and come down and check it out. Uh, all the fans have been super, super cool. I got this from a fan. This is pretty cool. They brought uh, me this. It's like a syringe, but it's a pen. Syringe, but a pen. This is pretty awesome. Another fan drew a picture of me and Miss Tamika. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it because this is on a flip camera. And there's no flip. It's flip camera didn't flip around, so I don't even know if, if this is in frame or not. But portrait, me and Miss Tamika. It's pretty cool. Well done. He creeped it off Facebook, but that's okay. I'll let that slide because he made a pretty good little picture there. This is also pretty cool. It's quite an honor to have this. There's the oldest performing magician in Mexico. Lives in Mexico City. He's like 95. And uh, he made one of these for me and one for Kevin James. It's pretty cool. It's a little uh, dancing skeleton. He hand carved this little guy right here. Uh, his leg kept, uh, fell off. My, my leg broke off on mine. Not sure if he'll see this though because he's 95 and maybe he doesn't have... Internet. I don't know. Maybe he does. I have no idea. He dances, but he's not ready to not ready to show you the little trick where he dances because he's, he's only really got one leg, and that would be really kind of crude humor to make him dance with one leg. I think that would be very inappropriate. Being in Mexico, people always wonder. They're like, you know, hey, whoa, unsafe down there. Dance Barry, how do you travel and be safe and protect yourself? I mean, besides with these guns, <laughs> something you can do. I'm gonna share with you guys so you can uh, have this little fun tip for yourself uh, when you travel and how to be safe when you travel. You go to Walmart and you get it for like less than 10 bucks, this little Dan Sperry Trip Survival Kit. You've probably all seen Platoon, right? Where they take the soap and stuff. This is kind of similar. You buy one of these orthopedic socks that are super huge. It's like a mustache uh, or a bandit. Maybe I'm a bandit. I can do this because the sock's clean. I've never worn it, so it's safe to do this. You get a baseball. Like this right here. Independently, on their own, these, whatever, not a big deal. But you put the baseball inside the tube sock, kind of like with the soap. goes all the way down. Bam! Now you got yourself a pretty hardcore weapon like that. And this can go in your carry-on. They don't even know. They don't even know that, that this is your evil plan. Uh, I like to call this my Michael Vick because I'd like to use this on Michael Vick's face and reproductive area. If you're a fan and you're following me on Twitter, uh, something I'm starting starting today is uh, Coffee and Candy with Dan Sperry. So go follow me on Twitter, at Dan Sperry, and uh, I'll post little private meet and greets. We don't do meet and greets with the Illusionists because we do like two, three shows a day. We've got to do quick turnarounds. And uh, if I'm bored, I might be like, hey, I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm at this coffee place here and here. If you're in the area, come hang out. I'll be here for another half hour or whatever. And uh, if I run into you, I might give you one of these little Abraca Bastard uh, silicone bracelets. I don't know if you can see that. It says Abraca Bastard. I'll give you a sticker. I don't have many of these left because of the old logo. This isn't the uh, Chris Grimley logo. But uh, I might give you one of these. Give you a pin. I don't know where the pins are. I'm running on those. Before every show, I throw a t-shirt out into the audience. So if you're in the audience and uh, you want a t-shirt, you should Twitter at me. And say, hey, I'm in the audience. Blah, blah, blah. Dance Barry. And uh, I might throw a t-shirt your direction. You never know. Incentive to follow me on Twitter. The coolest thing uh, in Mexico City, though, was doing a photo shoot with this uh, photographer down there. Obviously, a photographer, photo shoot. Uh, didn't speak any English, and we were at this house with uh, like portable, like paper backdrop. He would make me do these weird poses. I didn't know this guy from anything. I didn't know what he was doing. At first, I didn't even want to do the photo shoot with him. I was just like, I don't know this guy. I'm going to a, somebody's house. I don't really know either, and I don't really speak English either, and what's going on. I didn't even know what he was thinking. I didn't know what his vision was. I'm, he's just saying, do this, do this, do this, you know. He didn't, he's not even saying it like that. He's just like, blip, 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 and whatever. And then it, it, the coolest promo photos I've ever had. Uh, he puts it in this book, too. He gives me a disc of them, but he also made me this book. It was pretty cool. 
You see them all on my Facebook. Not all of them. I only put a couple up on my Facebook page or on my website. Uh, here's one. This one. T for two. T for two. I got a cheerio. I got a governor. Governor. That was pretty good. Anyways, uh, yeah. So keep following me on Twitter. Keep watching my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos coming up that I just haven't had a chance to put up there yet. So see you soon.